Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Elden Ring. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 37. We're back in the CO for Reverell. And we're going to try to get to some other portion of this area that we haven't previously been to. But first we gotta take out the archers. He's going to be mad at me, so. He dropped something. Now this other guy is going to come. You should just run over here, buddy. He missed his gore. These two guys, they got all the swords. Bit of a problem, but anyway, where we want to go is over there. We got a golden seed and I forgot to use it. We'll try to remember to do that at the next stop. Got it from that tree over there. Last episode. Hello, kitty cat. Lucy's wandering around, stalking. Looking restless, like the panther she is. Yeah, so over here, I believe this allows you to navigate to a different portion of this underground area. Could be wrong about that. May very well be wrong about that. Uh... Yeah, does it not allow us to do that? Okay, I thought it did. Oh. Well then, Elden Ring. Yeah, there's mm, no false walls or anything. Okay, so I was... Once again, we're getting used to this. I am mistaken, so that is just par for the course at this point in time. No fake walls. Yes, Mr. Sheep. And there's no other way to do anything over there. There's this. It's a waterfall. I don't think there's anything over here, though. There's just... A waterfall? Is there a cave back here? Oh, there is. There's this. What is this? A rune arc. And then... Not a false wall. So there's just a rune arc back here. I saw the cave. So this other section of the city, which is kind of way over here. Problem is I don't know how to get to it because it's up top. Oh, now I know which part it is. Never mind. Yep, you do get to it later. Um, you have to be... Wait a minute. Can't we get to it now? Because you got to fight a mimic tier. And then you run along these ramparts. And then over here, there are herders. Yeah, that's... You know what? I'm just curious enough to go look at that. Yeah, because that's here. We know all about that. Because this... I'm just a little confused by, by the geography. Yeah, because it's that thing. Okay. I wish this game would let you look up, for God's sake. Yeah, it's way up there. Okay, so yeah, you don't get to this region until later. Um, there's no way to get to that now. So we're ready to just go back. Oh, but there is that up there. How did we miss that one? What's that hanging on that ledge? Okay, let's get that and then we'll go back. 
and we'll go torment Kaled or have Kaled torment us. Uh oh, I forgot about these guys. I forgot about them, but. Doesn't mean that. Doesn't mean that we can't take care of them. Ooh, he's got a big stick. Okay, where is this thing that was hanging on the ledge? It's like obscured by these bushes in this rock. Yeah. Tricky. Okay, old fan. Alright. We're going to go over here. Not. Right there. We're going to use our golden seed. I think we have three. So we should be able to level up our flasks. Flasks. Add charge to flask. Yes. And then I want to allocate because what I want is one more of these. We're, we're getting into some powers now that are going to take a little, a little punch. All right. We have a long trip up. I'll see y'all at the top. And we're out. I did find a place that has a whole lot of those rare buds for the preserving bolluses while I was waiting to go up the, that ladder. so Or that elevator. So back here, Kaled Catacombs. Um, I don't think I'm... I'm going to try to get through this without using the preserving bolluses. So might be a little bit of pausing going on. Yeah, so these guys, uh, I'm just going to try to rip through here. Come on. Oh my gosh, out of my way. Plant. He runs over to that wall. That's really convenient for me, of course, but... There's, there's one fake wall down here. Doink. Oh, I was... I'd already punched it. Miranda Sprout Ashes. Ah, get off. <laughs> I'm spinning around because... <laughs> oh. Spinning around because I had target lock on when I didn't really want to. The plant is going a little busy here. Now you're going to be permanently dead. Alright. Uh, I'm going to wait a second for that to reduce. I figure it's best to be safe with the whole Scarlet Rot situation. These guys are going to come get me. Oh, look. Grab both of those. Right here. We could just skip that plant. So right around here is the fake wall. Hey, and it's got the lever. So, Lutol, the Headless, or the Wolves. Hmm. I think the Wolves might be a good choice here. We might be able to stun lock this thing. Uh, flame, oh, grant me strength. Yeah. Here's what I think would be really wise. Let's do that. It's 90 seconds. It sounds like a lot, but it's not. Let's get in there and get the doggos and then see if we can do it. Uh, boink. Keep it occupied, doggos. Okay, that's what I was worried about. Yeah, get on him. All right, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna do this. The holy damage really did a number on him there, didn't he? Oh my goodness. He's gonna do a number on me though, if I'm not careful. Oh boy. He didn't like that though. 
Kindred of Rot Ashes. Ooh, those things are a little nasty. I might like using that. Kindred of Rot. Those guys are... And these are just glowing candles. Alright, so that... That place is done. Very nice. That wasn't too bad. Just took a little bit to figure out with those hidden walls. Okay, Kaled. Let's go back to... Here, there's so many more places like that. Im the, the impassable Great Bridge. Yeah, it is impassable, really. Um, I, don't, I don't like the idea of trying to pass that thing. All right, let me look and see where I want to go next. All right, I have three items marked on my map. Number three here is supposed to be a site of grace. This is a waypoint ruins. It's an exterior place, and it's kind of tough. And this is a cave, so it'll have its own site of grace. So where we're going to want to go is... Let's go from here, Caled Highway South, and work our way up to that next site of grace. And then we'll find the cave, and then we'll do the ruins. Maybe not all necessarily in that order. Okay, so this should be... This is the road facing north, right? Yes. These guys suck. They shoot they shoot this spell that's like a bazillion little darts. And uh, you find them in the Cella Crystal Tunnels. Celia Crystal Tunnels. And they're they just suck because of that. That little spell makes it really hard to deal with. Okay, so here's one of them. Yep, Sight of Grace. Doing right here among the... The lore. Go down here and see what this says. There's a merchant down there. The Battle of Aeonia. Radon and millennia locked in stalemate. Then the scarlet rot blooms. Uh oh, I hear something. Where is it? It's over there. Is it? Well, the question is what type is it? And it's very clearly something that we want. It's not. There we go. It's a Ash of War Life Steel Fist? Ash of War Life Steel Fist. Wow. How much life stealing are we talking about? Is it substantial? Hmm. That could be interesting. Okay, so over here is this pumpkin head guy. I th I have the recollection of something important being over here. I bet these guys don't like the rot either, do they? Hmm. Can't summon anybody. I'm just gonna have to kill, aren't I? Okay. Let's make it happen then. Oh, that didn't go very far, did it? I like this though. Gosh, you guys aren't going to like this at all. Oh, I didn't like getting hit there, but um, that was really nice. Does it work on you? Oh, holy hell, it does. Of course, we have... We know what to do with you. Oh. Yeah. We just put you to the sword. Okay, so is there something over here or did I misremember? What are you guys doing? I clearly misremembered. There's nothing interesting over here. There's a... Okay. Acquire materials. Another guy over here. 
Are we surprised that I misremembered something? No, no, we're not. <laughs> oh. So there's a cave over there somewhere. In the middle of Ballas Land. Is there. So someone wisely told me in the comment section that. The little, the little ghosts that come out of here and lead away in their footprints, they only do that if you haven't already discovered the location that they want to take you to. Um, I'm not going to examine that right now. I just want to find the actual cavern entrance. I have feelings down here among these. There it is. And it's a stone sword key place. Okay. Hey now, I'm trying to get in here. You don't have to be doing that to me. Alright. These bolluses are no good. Um, I'm going to try not to use those and hope that there's not any more rot. Although it's Kaelid, so there's rot everywhere. <laughs> hey! There's an actual chest here at the start? I remember this. There's a chest at the start. It's a rune arc. It's a very surprising thing to have a chest there right at the beginning. Alright, so we have oh, the ratties. Do I remember this place? I might. Is this a place with all the people in the cells and you gotta let them out? Yep, it is. Okay. Yep, you gotta let, you gotta open the cell door, so, first of all, you have to find that. Not entirely the easiest thing. And then everybody that's in the cell doors is those, is those fire ghouls that want to blow up, so. And then, fall down. See, some of them are already burned up here. They're in their cells right now, and they're going to come out and... Yep, and so there's the door you want to open, but you can only open it from that side. So you have to keep going further in until you find your way around. But there are actual enemies in here, like this bozo. And his friends. Where are you? That's what I'm wanting to know. Where? There you go. You're not quite dead? Okay. You're not quite dead? Well, that's alright. Yep. And so, the cool thing is, they're going to come out, and that's why you want it. There's loot. That's actually the cage you want. I think the Uji Katana's in there. I'm not 100% certain about that. Obviously, my memory is incredibly faulty, so... There's... Friend. And there's more loot in there. But these guys are going to come out here and... Uh, if you can... Especially if you've got some elevation. You can shoot a couple of them. And get them set off. Then they'll light on fire and blow each other up. Which is... Very convenient for you. This might be a time to use a magic dragon head. Okay. Hold on here. Just a little nervous. <laughs> I might want to top myself off. I'd use an ember. I'd use a an ember. A rune arc. But I'm a little bit afraid that I'm just wasting it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hold on. Let's do this. You guys want to have some fun? Oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 you don't. Know. 
Hey. Oh, another one. I just barely got out of the way of you, didn't I? Okay. Well, that was kind of nice. That's what I was hoping it would do. I wanted to have some kind of weapon to take out uh, a group of critters like that. And that worked really well. I like that. A turtleneck meat. Is there any meat on a turtleneck? I don't think so. Uh oh. Poison. Okay, well. No, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, I don't have my poison set up. Dang it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vulgar militia cutlets. Alright. So I'm going to have to use one of the other ones. I forgot to leave that spell there. A guy up there, and there's a guy here. Oh, really? Where are you? It's... We don't want the target lock to work. We want to simulate the user panicking. Still the dumbest design decision in this game. Alright. So now we can do... You know what? I might not want to open that just yet. Oh, lightning will be good. Okay, so let's open this. I think it's... It's a little too far, and I don't know if he's going to come out and play, so... Do I have a crossbow? Yep. Oh, there they come. There we go. Is that going to make him mad enough to blow up? Maybe not. Oh. Oh, I don't have any more of those. Well, that's lame. What do I have? Explosive bolts. Perfumer's bolts. I don't really want to use those. Lord Sworn's bolt. Okay. Well, you guys are getting awful close now. Um, hmm. Will this just work? Let's find out. It worked. It also... <laughs> it also did that. Okay. Well, that's what I wanted to see. Is them blowing each other up. Because I don't want to have to go in there and kill them all, but I might have to. Because clearly, that isn't going to get the job done. This might. Oh, no. drop down and that door is not open, so. I'm gonna run back to our spot. But to do that, we're gonna have to, have to run by a lot of different guys. Which door was it that, here we go. Wakazashi, okay, that's what it was. It's not the Uji Katana, it's the Wakazashi. Any stone sword key? Very nice. And then, uh, there they are. Mice. Alright. Yeah, and guy's still blowing up, so. Now, you can open that door. And... Let's see, which way do we need to go? There's still a bunch of loot in here, isn't there? Like this. There's a, 
A couple of guys in here. It's just... You can't target the guy that's closest. It's just annoying. Oh my gosh. Okay. What do I have that could... There we go. Okay. That works. Yeah, I know you want to blow up. And I don't want you to. Old Fang. Pillory Shield. Alrighty. Now there's... Bozos in here. Loot, golden room. Nothing in there. Let him blow himself up. This is the way we came down, yeah? This is how you come down in here. You see that door open? Okay, so. Is this the. Where's the next closed door that leads somewhere interesting. Right. It's got to be this direction. Anything in there? Oh my gosh. I just wanted to get the target lock off and run away from him and it just was not going to work. Oh my gosh, there's a ton of guys up in there. Well, could try it. Sure, why not? That's not gonna work. That's not good. And I don't think they have anything in that cell that's interesting, so. Kinda, kinda no point. Kinda no point, but we're we're out of potions, which is really sucky, because the boss is right here. And is this a room where there's guys gonna drop on me? It feels like it is. So this guy, Rainbow Stone, Golden Rune. Oh man. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what we can do. We can go die to this boss because we don't have enough potions, and then uh, Stake of America. I don't have any more potions, do I? Nope. I'm out. Alright, all I got is a healing potion. And the hope of my great sword. That was nicely done for not having any potions. And then it leads you, you could see it uh, take you back to the entrance or this one comes out the other side of Limgrave with the Regalia of Eoshade. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I'm gonna show you what that one looks like. What does that look like? And what is it? It's a short sword, right? Yes, and it's a magic one, and it scales off of arcane and dex, so 
I know, I can't effectively use this item, but I still want to see what it looks like. So it looks like a little Roman soldier weapon. It looks pretty awesome. Yeah, so if you wanted to, here's the thing, here's what I'd like to be able to do. There's the Sword of Night and Flame, Int, Faith. And then, uh, if you had this one, also Int, well, Arcane, so not Int. You have to put points in all of them. Oh, and because I'm an idiot again. So if you did this, this is what you got. I mean, that's quite the pair. They look like they match. That's awesome. And then uh, go somewhere. And show what they do. They should be able to power stance with each other, I would imagine. So you should be able to go... Yep, you can power stance with them. Oh my gosh. Wow. That would be a fun combo. I gotta think about... I gotta think about playing a character that can do those. Because that would be pretty awesome. What's the weapon art on this one? It's... Dancing blade, which you wouldn't be using because you'd be using Sword of Night and Flame in your primary hand. So, fun times, but I mean, I'm having a good time with this great sword. So, Kaelid, uh, we're done with this, and down here are some ruins that have always traditionally given me trouble. So, we'll do that on the next episode, uh, and then we'll continue on. Thanks for watching, everybody. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, drop your questions and comments down below. Let's make the algorithm work for us. I'll see you all next time.